Hey Taurus, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot doing your January love reading for 2019. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate, so if they don't, just leave it be. Don't try to force it to fit. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Woohoo! Okay, give me a second here. Just want to shuffle a little bit and see what's going on. In your love life, Taurus, what is going on? All right. Okay, we're starting with the Knight of Wands. Player, 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 player alert. Judgment. Player trying to come back. Okay, Five of Pentacles. Past position. Ooh, Knight of Swords. What is up here? Queen of Cups. Queen of Swords. These could be male or female. Two of Wands. This is already looking like so obvious. Six of Cups. Position of the other person. The High Priestess. And the outcome. Death. And the Six of Wands. Some victory. Okay, so yeah, past position. Anxiety. Stress. Something didn't work out. Something was like killing you, um, making it hard for you to sleep. Somebody did you wrong. Somebody did something. Um, what did somebody do? Why were you so stressed here? Stabbed you in the back. Um, something hasn't officially ended. There may have been a relationship or like a, a thing. Ace of Swords here, some type of harsh communication. There may be a thing that you were involved in that, um, you know, like, it, but it didn't end. Like, it hasn't officially end. I don't know how, in what way. Maybe you guys decide to stay friends or um, this person's still, like, in your aura or surrounding you in some way or is, like, still kind of there somehow. Hold on. Okay, some type of like, there was some type of communication. There was love messages going back and forth. So, something you were connected to. or so, You got some like positive news, but it stressed you out in the past. It turned into an anxiety ridden situation. But, you know, I see the energy of like um, definitely some type of reconciliation. So there is someone trying to reconcile with you with judgment. It's a challenge. Um, this person is... Or, or somebody's trying to come back. That's what I see. And the Knight of Wands, that player energy. So this person was like pretty much, they're pretty much all about the sex. That's what's going on. Okay. Um, fast moving. This person's in and out of relationships, in and out of people's lives. They can't, the, the Knight of Wands is not commitment type of person. The, this, If you know this person, they probably had numerous relationships or they're always hooking up with different people. Are they, um, they're just in and out. They can't be alone. They're just, you know, they, they come in and then they go out. And I feel like this person is just going to be trying to come back to you in January. Um, you felt left out in the cold by this person. So you could have been dealing with um, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You could have been dealing with, um, yeah, an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. I feel like um, you were left out in the cold by this person or they did something that made you feel cold or, you know, kind of like it wasn't very heartwarming, whatever they did. I just feel like because they're just in and out, you know, they're going to try to like come back and try to open up to you, but it's a challenge for them to be truthful. So they may just try to use any kind of like admittance as an, a, manipula a manipulation tool. Um, but I feel like in your thoughts like and it may be you maybe you um want to reconnect with this person as well because there was something there and it hasn't officially ended so there may be an opportunity to reconcile with them if you want to or not and the queen of cups is here so it's like you want to offer your love you you you're all up in your emotions and your thoughts and you thought they were too you thought that this person really was like digging you in some way. I do feel like though, 
there is going to be communication from them again. Let me see here. Queen of Swords, King of Pentacles. That's your energy. Yep, there's going to be travel. You guys are going to actually try to reconcile or hook up again or have some type of communication or go see each other again for sure. You're looking for partnership. This is what you want. You have the Two of Wands here. You're looking for partnership, expansion, growth. You're trying to make a decision. I see you need to um, see if this person is worthy of your time and energy. You're definitely waiting to hear what they have to say There's, you know, with their communication. This person definitely wants to reconcile here. This is someone from your past. They want to offer you something, offer something to you maybe again yeah they want a commitment with you or they want something real to connect with you in some way but there's secrets surrounding them and you you are hoping that they're going to reach out to you and be honest and truthful with you about what is you know like what they were doing you were uh, you were trusting your intuition there was something about this person that you know is, that you know is true okay you know like the way they were behaving this person is just a player. They're, they're basically out there having sex with like everyone and anyone just so they can have attention or so they can have people around them. Um, it, it might be a, a bit narcissistic or egocentric type of an energy. Okay. Um, the outcome is death and the six of wands. So there is going to be some type of transformation and change where you're going to benefit from this it, the victory is going to be yours. Okay. I feel like, um, I don't, I'm not going to say like you guys are going to get into some kind of relationship, but I feel like you are going to see each other again. There is going to be communication from them. They're going to tell you the truth. They are going to mention to you that they want to reconcile and they want to try and give it another go. So I feel like a lot of you is someone from your past. Okay. And there is going to be change. And I do feel like things are going to work out between the two of you. Um, I don't know. I just kind of feel like they, this person kind of actually grew a conscience. They feel kind of bad about, you know, what they did. And, and really, I don't feel like they're, they're doing well with other people. I don't feel like anybody's really like trying to hook up with them. Yeah, they're trying to heal their heart. That This person, they're defensive. They're not trying to date anybody. They're just, you know, they're basically like shunning love. They're, they're, they don't want to get their heart broken. They stay in that energy, and that's why they go from person to person to person. Um, but they're also, they're trying to fight back the fact that they actually felt something for you. Yet they do want to communicate with you that they do want to see you again. Okay. Um, yep. See the three of cups in reverse. This person has been like partying and drinking and trying to like uh, drown their sorrows about the fact that this, that they, they, I'm just going to say it, they fucked up and they're drowning their sorrows in that. And they're realizing now that they made a mistake. They made a huge mistake, and, but you need to know they're realizing they made a mistake because nobody else wants them right now. They're not, they're not doing well. They're not hooking up with anybody else. They're getting like rejected. So you're going to have to take that in consider, I'm sorry, consideration. They're telling you to release this person. The time has come to clear your energy. So maybe you'll hook up with them again one more time. But you're not going to fall for their bullshit. I think you're just going to let them go and let them suffer a little bit in January. And you should because they screwed you over pretty bad. They left you. They left you high and dry. Made up some stupid excuses for why they were acting the way they were. Do I sound angry? I'm not really. Seriously, I had like, uh, you know, Christmas music playing in the background before I did this video. So, like, I'm super happy. I just feel like your energy is like, F them. You know, let them come back and say what they need to say. Fine. But, but that's their that's their karma. Let them suffer. That's kind of like the energy I'm picking up from you. Like you're going to listen and hear what they have to say. But they caused you a lot of anxiety at, because they were bullshitting for a long time. But now nothing's working out for them. And they're not like being able to hook up or get what they want from, from either one other person or uh, several other people. People are just like viewing them as being like, like their reputation is uh, succeeding them. And... Um, 
I don't know. I feel like you got the win on this one. That's why you've got the uh, six of uh, wands there. The transformation, the change, letting them go. So good luck. I will see you guys in February. All right, bye.